Hi guys and welcome to today's video which will be based as you can see on Be Quiet Shadow Rock 3. It has a well amount of TDP that it can handle up to 190 watts. The one thing that this cooler did um, attract me to basically it's designed of course what else could it be but uh, also I'm testing it today on the Ryzen AMD Ryzen 9 3900X so it's definitely going to be an interesting thing to see if this can really handle that su such strong CPU now why do I love the design usually I don't like the design of aluminium heatsink uh, just because it's just it's silver color I usually like those uh, especially spray painted black ones which look really cool or even white ones if they are really rare but this one just because they managed to make it look attractive with the top cover here that covers the top side adding be quiet logo nice and subtle and adding a black fan which black colored fan because the black fan and the black top go perfectly together and then you have the silver part around here that basically matches perfectly the whole aluminium design when we're talking about um, placing the cooler on the CPU it's fairly easy you just have to place the standoffs on the original uh, AMD bracket well backplate basically place the screws on it and then just mount the special bracket that holds the cold plate directly on the CPU you have an opening here for a be quiet screwdriver that goes directly to the screw and the one here on the right side is fully open so basically there are no issues accessing the screws uh, of attaching the cooler to the processor. The fan is really easy to attach without a doubt you have those uh, standard uh, hooks that you hook up to the passive heatsink of the cooler. Uh, honestly I think in this case since we're doing uh, everything in the uh, Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX it would be really cool to have a white fan but I wanted to go stock and leave it as it is. So fairly easy to adjust and to place it on the CPU uh, very attractive design without a doubt and it's really quiet they really stand for their name and the whole chassis everything that I placed in here is really quiet you can I mean usually when I do builds uh, reviews like this I can hear the fans and the cooler really a bit louder but this is I think my NAS is louder than the Be Quiet uh, fans and the cooler. So when we're talking about temperatures, uh, I noticed that the 3900X has some sort of a spikes in temperatures. So I tested it in AIDA64 benchmark just for the GP GPU uh, CPU test and the temperatures were going from 60 to 70 uh, bouncing up and down but with this cooler it didn't have any issues. Now of course I wouldn't suggest uh, overclocking uh, 3900X with this kind of CPU cooler but still if for gaming and basically for everything else that you need it will cool the processor. There's nothing left to say about it. It can cool a 12 core 24 threads processor without OC so stock speeds uh, fairly easy to adjust and to place it on the CPU you don't have any issues with RAM clearance because even if you decide to go with four sticks of RAMs inside your build even the fan isn't touching them so they placed the whole heatsink, the passive part they placed it and moved it a bit on the left it's not even touching the IO cover of the B550 Tai Chi from ASRock so I mean that's really cool to finally manage enough distance for the IO cover for the RAMs and still have a massive heatsink inside your build. When it comes to some general specification the height of the cooler is 162.96 the weight is 606 and it can be placed on basically every single socket except for Threadripper which is kind of 
normal and understandable since it has a smaller cold plate than the one that should cover uh, Threadripper and it can cover even 2066, 2011 uh, Intel sockets which are on extreme uh, maximum power capacity as I said is 190 TDP and decibel noise level I mean check this out decibel noise level at 50% fan speed is 11.5 decibels on 75% is 17.5 and on 100 is 24.4 decibels so yeah that's really cool and in addition I forgot something it has 5 heat pipes going through the heatsink and the, their diameter is 6 millimeters. So basically I can say that the Shadow Rock 3 from Be Quiet definitely deserves a PC Crazy approved badge just because it's quiet, it's nice and subtle, it's very easy to mount it and install it and it can cool 3900X as you can see from the test from AIDA64. So guys, thank you for watching today's video, don't forget to leave a comment Tell me what you think about the cooler, of course, and don't forget to click the thumbs up button and subscribe if you still didn't. I'll see you in another one. Bye-bye.